Good morning, boys and girls. Um, today is Thursday. This is actually your first real day of um, e-learning at home. So you're going to get to open your packets today with your parents or your grandparents, whoever you're staying with, and you're actually going to get to use some of those materials today. Um, but first, let's get started with calendar time. So something that I added today that we usually do every morning um, on the news, which we don't have right now since we're not at school, is the mood meter. So I want you to go ahead and look at the mood meter and decide like how you're feeling today. You know, think about it. Are you feeling in the green right here? Are you feeling kind of calm and chill, um, happy? Are you excited? Maybe up here in the yellow, are you like mad or stressed out or upset? Maybe you're up here in the red. Um, or maybe you're in the blue. Maybe you feel sad. I know some people said they felt sad that they weren't at school. Maybe you're tired because it's early in the morning and your parents woke you up to do this. Um, just think about where you are on the mood meter. And then if you're in the red, maybe think about how can you get out of the red? Or if you're in the blue, think about how you can, you know, get out of the blue and maybe kind of move over towards the green. So go ahead and take a second and think about where you are. I think I'm in the green. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm calm. I get to teach you guys. So I'm in the green. All right, let's go to the next page. All right, so here's our calendar for today. Let's go ahead. Yesterday was Wednesday. And a lot of you did bring your library books back. And Miss Elliot was very happy. So thank you for bringing those back to school yesterday when you came through the line. Okay, so. Today is today is Thursday, so let's move this to today. And then let's count to today and figure out what the date is. So if you're at home, you can count with me when I count and figure out what the date is. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's right. Today is the 19th. So let's erase this and go ahead. And if you have your paper and pencil, you should have it. If you don't, go get it. Let's write 19. Let's use yellow today. 19 has a one in the front, not the nine in the front. Even though you say 19 and you say the nine first, you put the one first, then the nine. So it's like this. See if you can write that on your paper. A one and a nine. I know you can do it. And after you write it on your paper, I want you to look through here and see if you can find the 19. One and the nine. Did you find it? Is it over here? No. Is it down here? No. Is it over here? Yep. Okay, hold on. Let me find it. This one. Yes. All right, 19. All right, let's go ahead and say the date together now that we put that here. Ready? Today is Thursday, March 19th, 2020. Good job, everyone. Tomorrow is the first day of spring. You probably already can see um, flowers blooming outside. Um, I know the tree in front of our house. I have lots of flowers. The tulips are coming up around the tree in my front yard. So spring is coming, but tomorrow we'll talk more about spring. And I will be putting a video for spring for you guys to watch tomorrow as part of your lessons. Okay. All right. Let's count how many days until the baby chicks hatch. Here we go. We don't count today. We'll start with tomorrow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Only eleven more days until the baby chicks come. And yes, I do have the baby chicks and the incubator. Not the baby chicks, but the incubators at my house. All the teachers have it at their house. Miss All, Miss Johnson, and Miss Thompson. And we're taking care of those eggs, okay? All right. Great job on the date. Let's go to the next page. All right, let's talk about the weather. 
Um, let's go ahead and go check the weather. Um, I'm not going to get up right now just because I can't really get to a window right now easily. So I'm going to have you go check the weather. Um, and I'm going to click on this weather channel thing and see what the weather is. Okay. You guys go look out the window. And remember, you might watch this at a different time than me and the weather changes. So if you watch this video later, maybe it's going to be sunny when you look. But right now it says that the weather is cloudy and I think it's supposed to rain today maybe. So we'll see. But right now it's cloudy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and erase this five. And we are going to add one cloudy day for March up here. All right. So we had five. Put up five fingers. We had five cloudies. We added one. Can you put up one? Add those together. And how many do we have? What's five? Five plus one make. Go ahead and figure it out. And if you don't know, you can always count these as well. Let's do that right now and see if you got the right answer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you say six? Awesome. Let's go ahead and write a six on our paper. Everybody write a six. Okay. Perfect. There's a six. All right, so now they're not equal anymore, are they? Yesterday, sunny and cloudy were equal. But now that we added one for cloudy, it's not equal. Now that one has the most. That's right. This one is the most. So six is the most. And the least is still, which ones? There should be three of them that are the least. Yep, partly cloudy, snowy, and windy. Great job, everybody. All right, next page. All right, how many days do we have left in kindergarten? Let's figure it out. So let's erase this number because this is not the number for today. Let's take one away. There we go. Now you, before I do it, you try to figure out how many days do we have left in kindergarten. You could count every star or you could count by tens and ones. See if you can figure out how to do it right now. All right, let me see what you did. Let's see if you did it this way. Ready? Let's count by tens and ones and see what you got. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Did you get 48? Awesome. Then that was right. Go ahead and let's write 48 on our paper. Here we go. So it's a four first because we have four tens. That's right. And then we write an eight because how many ones do we have down here? That's right. We have eight. So that's how we get 48. See if you write that on your paper. Great job if you did. So there are 48 days left in kindergarten. We have 48 days of things to learn. We can do it. All right. Next page. Time for our snap word of the day. See if you can remember what yesterday's snap word was. Read it right now. Yep, it was had. Very good. And we wrote, I had a waffle. All right, let's erase this. We are going to do a new snap word of the day. Got to erase all of this. All right, ready? Our snap word of the day is. We use green today. This is our snap word of the day, okay? W I L L. Do you know what that says? That says will. Can you say will? Will. So, step one of how to learn a word is read it. So, go ahead and read it again. Say will. Good job. Let's study this word will. Actually, let's make these L's a little taller. I need to fix that. All right, let's study this word. What do we notice? First of all, how many consonants do you see? Go ahead and tell me, how many consonants do you see? Yep, three. Let's count them. One, two, three. So three consonants. How many vowels do we see? How many vowels do we see? Yep, one vowel right here. 
I. It's one vowel. Good. What else can we study about it? Yep, it has two tall letters. Two tall letters. No tails. No tails. Um, will. Um, let's clap it out and see how many parts it has. Ready? Will. All right, so it just has one part. Good job. One part, one vowel. A lot of times that works, doesn't it? Um, all right, let's spell it together. Ready? Spell it with me. W I L L. Great job. W I L L. Very good. All right, step four is write it. Write it. All right, let's write the word will. I already wrote it once, but now I want you to write it. Okay, can you write the word? I'll write it again so you can see how to do it in case you need help. But I bet you can do it without even looking up here. W I L L. You got it? Good job. Now, step five is use it. And we use it in our writing and our reading, don't we? So let's use it right now with writing. And then today, if you see this word in any of your stories or books or anything, that's pretty awesome. But let's go ahead and use it by writing a sentence. You can come up with your own sentence and write that if you want to, or you can follow along with me. Let's see. Hmm. I know one. I know one. Ready? We're going to write. We will have fun. Ready? We will have fun. Go ahead on your paper right now before you write and let's point, use our pointer power and plan out that sentence. Ready? We will have fun. So how many words are we going to write? Four words. That's right. So let's do that right now. Now, we is a snap word. You should be able to write that in a snap. Everybody knows that word. It's been a snap word. The beginning of your sentence, though, needs to have what kind of letter? You got it. Uppercase. So let's write an uppercase W for we. We. See my uppercase W because it's the beginning of a sentence. We is W-E. That's right. It's a snap word. We. Now make sure you have your finger space right here. And we're going to write will. That's our word for the day. So it's right up here if you forgot. We will. W. I. L. L. We will have. Have. Hmm, how do we spell have? Let's put a finger space and let's stretch out have. Huh. I hear an H. Yep. Ha, ha, ha. That's an A. Good. We will have v, v, like V. Good. We will have. Now let's put a finger space. Don't forget your finger space. We will have fun. Oops. We will have fun. Now, fun is a snap word too, I believe. And if it isn't a snap word for you, we can stretch it out because it's a CVC word. So we can actually use robot talk to figure out fun. So let's do it. Ready? All right. It's F. Let's see what vowel we hear. F, uh, uh, like umbrella. F, uh, it's a U. And then what do we hear at the end? Do your robot talk. F, uh. Mm. Yep, it's an N. We will have fun. And you know what? If you want to put an exclamation point, you could, or a period. Not a question mark, though, because it's not a question. But you could do an exclamation point, because we will have fun. All right, did everybody write their sentence? Let's read it together, okay? Point to yours on your paper, and let's read it together. We will have fun. Great job. Use your brain. All right, snap word of the day is will. You got it. All right, let's go ahead and do our new math story problem. Let's erase this. This was one, our one about waffles yesterday. And let's do one today. Let's do one about grapes. So I'm going to get purple because I like purple grapes. All right, here we go. Let's say that Olivia had seven grapes. So let's draw seven grapes. One, two, 
three, four, draw them on your paper, five, six, seven. So Olivia had seven grapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's say that Jace had three grapes. Let's draw three more grapes. One, two, three. Right, if you want to go ahead and label it, you can. You can put a seven over here because Jace had, I mean, Olivia had seven and Jace had three. Now, if they put all their grapes together, how many grapes do they have? Go ahead and figure it out. If they put all their grapes together, how many do they have? You can figure it out by counting them. I want you to count them right now. And then write your answer down. Write down what you think. And then we'll see if you get it right. All right, let's see if you got it right. Ready? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you get ten? Did you get ten grapes? It is ten. Whoops. It is ten grapes. Let me move this back up. One and a zero. Ten. And then you can write the equation down here. You can write seven plus three equals ten. There you go. Seven plus three equals ten. Great job, everybody, on your math, okay? You can make up more story problems like this if you want to about anything you want. Um, tomorrow we'll do another one, and next week we're going to talk about taking away. So we won't just add things. We're going to take things away, okay? So we'll talk about that. All right, you guys did a great job this morning. Um, this is Miss Thompson. I miss seeing all of you. Um, hope you have a great day. There's more things to do today after calendar, okay? So make sure you're getting all your work done and continue being super smart, okay? Love you guys.